Okay, here's how to fix the vertical alignment of equations in Canvas. You'll see that equations, um, inline equations, align at the bottom of the equation. And in math, we probably want this to align vertically. In other words, we want the f of x to align with the words in front of this. So um, we want this to do a kind of vertical alignment called middle. So the only way to fix this is to go into the HTML. And it, it sounds scary, but I promise it's not very scary. So um, the first thing we're going to do is just grab the HTML code that we're going to need. I keep a little text file here with some HTML to remember. Um, and we just need to grab this little line of text right here. We're just going to insert it into the um, image definement of these equations. So then we're going to switch the view to HTML and remember some words around that equation so you can find it again. So I'm going to remember this word anatomy. I'm going to switch views and I'm going to use a control F or a command F if you're on a Mac to find anatomy. And when I hit enter you'll see I find that section of text that has anatomy in it. And so then I just have to find the equation and the equation is going to be beneath that. Um, and you're going to see it defined with things like frac for fraction and whatnot. But really you're looking for equation image. Um, another way to look for it to, in find would be to search equation image. Um, but what we really need to find here is where it starts and where it ends. So there's the start for this command and there's the end right there. All HTML begins with a less than and ends with a greater than. Um, and so that's the image that's defining what that equation is. And what we need to do is insert that little bit of text that we have right after the class equation image. So right here I'm just going to place my cursor and use control V or command V on a Mac and make sure there's a space after it. And so basically I've just inserted between class and um, title that set of text style equals vertical dash align colon middle um, semicolon. And so like I said I just keep this little line in a separate file. Now there were two equations so I'll go to the second one and I'll just repeat. So again I'm going to find the, the start of the image. So there it is right there. I'm going to look for class equation image right there. I'm going to drop my text right there with a control V or command V. Make sure you put a space after it. So now when I switch back to the uh, WYSIWYG view, the what you see is what you get view, you should see that the equations are aligned nicely. And I should be able to save this. Change. And you'll see that these equations now align vertically the way they're supposed to.